Lakin says, what actually is isbal? What length is permissible? If it is touching the ankle bone, is it sufficient? And some people say that if you wear the lower garment below the ankle without pride, then it's okay. Need your guidance. First of all, isbal is a noun. And the word for it used in the sunnah is an adjective, which is <coughs> al-musbil. And al-musbil is a person who wears his garment, trousers, thob, whatever he wears from waist down, that exceeds and covers the ankle area. So up to the ankle, you're safe. Above the ankle, by four or eight fingers, you're following the sunnah. If you reach the ankle and you hide part of it, you are in the danger zone, but still it's not sinful. The moment the ankles are hidden and covered by your trouser or by your thobe, or by a garment, or by a waist wrapper, then you have fallen into the category of isbal. The Prophet ﷺ said, whatever exceeds the ankles is in hellfire, meaning that the owner will be tormented in hellfire. And there is no difference between whether a person does it out of pride or out of a mistake, except in the gravity of the punishment. So if a person does it by mistake or unintentionally, in this case, he is tortured and tormented in hellfire for this little area. But if he does it out of arrogance and pride, then Allah Azza wa Jal would not look at him on the Day of Judgment, nor speak to him. And Allah Azza wa Jal would not purify him, and he will punish him severely. And this is when pride is involved. So either way, it is punishable in hellfire, but the gravity of the punishment is increased due to, to to pride and arrogance. When it's not with pride and arrogance, then only that area of your body would be tormented in hellfire. May Allah Azza wa Jal protect us all.